What's going on guys, Smash Wars 4339 here back with another video and yeah I said I'll be uploading but the last video was like a week or two ago. Anyways in this video I'll be showing you how to download music, not download, how to put music on your iPhone. Hopefully for the very last time, so much comments saying it doesn't work and stuff. I And it's pretty hard to answer them since... I have to use my own knowledge and not actually go to iTunes and see everything. I have to use my own knowledge, but whatever. Hopefully, hopefully this will be the last video and you guys will understand. And I'll try to make it as depth as possible, in-depth video. And I'll also have to make this quickly, so yeah. Anyways, before I get into it, I just want to say, go subscribe to my second channel, Bullet Beats, link in the description. I have been posting music there and we're almost at 20 subs so those sub there and go sub to further layers and other people all links will be in the description anyways if this works for you please leave a like and subscribe for more okay that will indicate me so much more information than you think okay all right now let's get into the video so the very first thing you need to do is go to the link in the description and go to this iTunes website which is apple.com and yeah it is certified since it's Apple and it's not some shady website but yeah what else after you go here scroll down to here Mac OS or Windows you can download it from the Microsoft Store if you're on Windows but I prefer the online download so just choose whatever platform you're on so let's say I'm on Mac OS I can go and uh, go to Mac OS stuff which I do not know since I'm not a Mac OS person and and it says like Mac OS is doing something different which is so I recommend going through that but if you're on Windows go ahead and download the Windows iTunes the latest version and right now I'm using 12.12.3 hopefully yours is also 12.12.3 but if it's not it should be the same thing and that's a 64-bit computer if your computer is a thing 2-bit go download it here and after you're done it should be downloading here and go through the installation process and everything and it should be opened right here and if it tells you to welcome yada yada and do that you should be here where there's look at my mouse where it is it's recently added artist album songs so if you don't have anything this should be there Okay, and then go to the second link in the description. That's the Chrome Web Store. Um, and basically, search up Avast. I think it's already searching up when I give you the link. If it doesn't, then search up Avast. Go to the very first um, thing I asked you, and it this install the extension. It's just an extension. It just tells you. It, it helps you avoid bad websites and some of these downloaders can lead you to bad websites um, the ones that will probably get your computer bad and like hacked and stuff and information taken out of so just, so just keep that just in case I had this for so long I, I like it and sometimes anytime I go to websites it says hold on this website's not safe so yeah this is I highly recommend this and if you don't use this please be careful because sometimes those websites can be accessing your information okay then go to YouTube and find whatever song you like and for me I'm using my song from bullet beats as you can see yeah 16 subs and 50 views which is crazy for a 16 sub channel anyways once you have the music and to get the full version of the music just search up the lyrics of it and yeah go to the URL click it it should be cop it should be highlighted if not hit control a then right click and click copy so now that's in your clipboard go to any of these two I have these in the description again so go to any of them I prefer like this one because this one sometimes take you to shady websites but you can choose which ones on your own so I'm gonna do this one and it may be on mp4 the format on mp4 just click that go to audio formats mp3 it should be there I don't know what happens if it's not there anyways paste your um, link there and click start this can take a while depending on how long it is and yep that's it make sure double check it's on mp3 and hopefully there's only one and click download 
as you can see it also redirected me to a bad website because since this extension helped me you can use this since it's not going to harm your computer and look and luckily I have this since otherwise I'll be going to the website and sometimes they can see my privacy data but after a while this um, thing should pop up will ask you where to download it I'm just gonna I'll be just downloading it here I don't know now you can once it's done you can click on it and it should be working I don't know if you guys can hear that but it was working for me um, just quickly uh, not quickly you can just click out of that okay now that we are done with most of these websites there's one last website I need you guys to go to which is convertio.co again link in the description and you have to convert this to another audio file so I'm just gonna click that and then I'll find my hey I got it now when it since after you've done it just double click on it and then go here and then go to m4a convert it to an m4a file make sure it says ready when it says ready click convert it will take some time to convert not that long it should not take extremely long like probably one to two minutes at most and yeah, depending on how long the song is as well as you can see it's almost already a hundred percent um, okay once it's done click on the blue download and again it will download uh, I'm just gonna call this so I don't get mixed up with my other one doing my remix I'll save it to my downloads okay and I click save should be there and it still should be working yep okay so now that and get your iPhone ready make again make sure it's an iPhone and plug in your charger to your computer or laptop any charger can do the USB-C charger or USB 3 charger or a I don't know what's it called um, anyways plug it into your phone yep that's in as you can see it says iPhone and since I already done this before it's gonna pop up but if it does not go to your phone and you like it should be charging and stuff if it's if this if it doesn't come up on your PC um, unlock it and it should tell you to trust this computer click yes do the code and then it should be done and yeah there you go that's my iPhone it's called iPhone if you name your iPhone like Jim's iPhone then there you go and what you want to do is go here this little iPhone logo it should be right there it's it's kind of easy to miss but you can see where it is right next to it's it's in this top panel here click it and then make sure you're on summary and this information should be accurate your space and how much battery is it on um, then what you want to do is scroll down to options and make sure these options are the same so these options um, lists should be the same and if it's not it's okay the only things that need to be tick is ma uh, sorry, manually manage music and videos sync it and click done when it's done it should be bringing you back here and if it does not click this top right top top right the left arrow back and you should be here now you need to add your music to iTunes so what you can do is open up where the heck you left it and then so here it is what you and then just make it a small window with this button where my mouse is find where it's saved either your downloads or whatever find and find it hold it and drag it here there you go um, make sure it's underneath the library tab the songs tab right here make sure it's there all right and then once it's here drag it here right here underneath devices on your iPhone a blue box here okay once that's done click let, let go of it it will be updating on top and and you can do this for many songs it will just be syncing once it's done syncing it's done and I'll 
screen record my iPhone so you guys can see. Alright guys, I'm on my phone as you can see. Um, make sure you click on the music app. It should be pre-installed onto your iPhone. If not, it, I don't think it should be. It should not be not pre-installed, but it should be already installed. Just click on that. Scroll down to recently added. And there you go. It's working 100%. You guys won't be able to hear it because I'm screen recording. But it's working. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now this should work. Again, everything, do everything step by step. Okay? Don't skip or anything. You shouldn't have skipped anyways. Um, yeah, anyway, since if you guys like this and it worked and you enjoyed it, Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on for more videos like this. And go sub to my friends and links in the description below. And I'll see you in the next video.